and welcome to Tiger Art. Today we will be continuing the George Surratt inspired pointillism butterfly project. We're using markers and paper for this and we had started with a basic butterfly shape. I told you to use a dark color to trace around the outline. Once you had that done, you could make no more lines or coloring. Everything inside the butterfly had to be made up of just a dot. Today we will be taking the next few steps to fill in some more of the butterfly. If you don't finish today, remember that's okay, it's not a race. There's no need to hurry, that goes against the idea of pointillism. It's meant to be calming, relaxing, something that you could do to pass the time. So it's not something you just rush through to get it done. It's not the idea of pointillism. Let's take a look at a few student-made examples of pointillism before I show you how I would make mine. Keep in mind here, you don't have to do yours exactly like mine or theirs. These are just some ideas. Pay particular attention to their use of dots throughout. Also, pay attention to their use of patterns. You won't see anything here where a student has just randomly assigned dots throughout a space. That's not a good way to go about this. That's not the way that my students have been taught to approach this type of problem. Now, there is art projects. There are art projects where that type of thing would be appropriate. This is not exactly one of them, though. Okay, so today we're going to be taking the next few steps in the pointillism project and we just want to continue to be patient and take our time. We are not in a rush. You still have next time to finish. So take your time. Enjoy the relaxing nature of pointillism. A couple of tips right off the bat. We want to make sure our dots are close together so that we can fit a lot of them and make shapes out of them but not so close together that they're touching. Like they don't want, you don't need to make them like this. If you had them like that and they're touching, I would say, can you even tell that there's dots there? No, even if you look at it up close, it might as well be a line. So that's not the idea. The idea is for there, you wanna be able to see that there are dots, but just when you look at it from far enough away, you can also make lines and shapes out of them. So I'm gonna pick a new color, maybe orange, and keeping with the idea of symmetry, whatever I do on the right side, I want to do to the left side. Okay, if I want to maybe re-outline that shape with a different color. You can try to do some of that color mixing that we talked about, where you take red dots, and add blue dots to it. If you look at it from far enough away, it should give the appearance of purple. So this is fast motion. Don't try to go this fast. Just skipping through. Take your time, take it slow. If you need a break every now and again, give your hand some rest, that's fine. Just be patient with it. Uh, don't be, feel like you need to finish it today. Don't be in a super big hurry. Just enjoy the process.
Okay, so at the end of this, um, you will be finished. You don't need to get all the way done with this today, but if you do, that's okay. Take a picture of it and submit. I'll show you what to do next time if you're already done. If you don't finish today after a reasonable amount of time, you are free to take a picture of what you have finished, submit for today, and then we'll come back and finish it next time.